Welcome to the He's Got Issues DC Comics Edition number 5. I'm John Cooney here to preview new DC Comics being released March 20th, 2013, beginning alphabetically with Action Comics number 18. The lead story written by Grant Morrison with art by Rags Morales, Brad Walker, Cam Smith, and Andrew Hennessy is destined to become a milestone in the new 52. And that's all we can say about that for now. Plus, in the backup story written by Sholy Fish with art by Chris Sprouse and Carl Story, learn how Superman's battle with the little man is some very far-reaching consequences. The new creative team of writer Andy Diggle and artist Tony S. Daniel now will make its debut in Action Comics number 19. We've got Batman Beyond Unlimited number 14, all new digital adventures in print for the first time. Following the events of Flash Drive, the new look Justice League encounters an old ally. As the Trillions and Mangles prepare for battle, Superman is forced to choose sides. Plus, don't miss the shocking revelations in Batman Beyond that are sure to impact Terry and Dana's relationship forever. Next, we've got Batwoman number 18. A new story arc begins here as Batwoman adjusts to her new partner and her new role in the war on crime. Guest starring Batman. We got Birds of Prey number 18. Welcome new series writer Christy Marks of Sword of Sorcery. Mr. Freeze is out of Arkham Asylum and looking for revenge on the Court of Owls. His first target, the newest member of the Birds team, Strix. And if that wasn't enough trouble for the girls, this issue introduces the Daughters of the Dawn who are abducting people with superpowers, starting with a certain prisoner, Belle Reeve. We've got Catwoman number 18, guest starring Batman. In the fallout from Death of the Family, Catwoman and Batman spend a night at a museum fighting over stolen art. We've got Constantine number one. The star of Justice League Dark is unleashed in his all-new ongoing series. Liar, cheater, manipulator. John Constantine is all of these, and yet he uses these skills and more to protect the world from the darkest corners of the DC universe. What Constantine learns in his first issue will shake the very foundations of the New 52, and only he knows how to deal with it. Next, we've got DC Universe Presents number 18. Writer Joe Keatinge and artist Tyler Kirkham turn the spotlight on Starfire. We've got Fables number 127. In part 3 of Snow White, the newly established Fable Town and the former Castle Dark continues to yield dark secrets. Ruthless Prince Brandish locks one of the Fables' beloved princesses in a tower with no way out. And in Haven, Beast cooks up a scheme involving Geppetto and the Blue Fairy, while Flycatcher enjoys a nice relaxing bath, only to find more than a rubber ducky with him in the tub. We've got Green Lantern New Guardians number 18. Wrath of the First Lantern continues. After having ripped apart Guy Gardner, the First Lantern now directs his singular and horrific power at Jon Stewart, forcing the Corps to see the light and darkness of their lives in a frightening new way. We've got JSA The Liberty Files The Whistling Skull number 4 of 6. Nigel's father hasn't been around in a while, but in 1940s London, that's not unusual. Fortunately, his friend William can take up the slack, personally and as the Whistling Skull. But when they join the skeleton, will working together be enough to save the day against Nazi scientific horrors? We've got Justice League 18. Cyborg takes center stage as events fall into place for next month's massive new story arc, Off the Grid. Also, Batman continues to question the Superman-Wonder Woman alliance and Aquaman's future with the League. Plus, the Shazam backup story reveals the origin of Black Adam and what it means for Billy Batson's survival. We've got Justice League of America number two. The new Justice League of America team continues to form, but the question remains, what do these heroes want in return for their membership? Secret motives are everywhere, and the outcome will have a huge impact on the team and the rest of the new 52. Plus, the Alien Manhunter's backup series begins revealing more about John's plans for this team and the other Justice League. We've got Justice League of America's Vibe number two. Vibe makes a massive discovery when he learns of the secret of his power. Plus, Vibe's first outing with the Justice League of America team sends him into conflict with one of his teammates. We've got Legion of Superheroes number 18. Separated and in great danger, the Legionnaires must face their greatest foes yet, the new Fatal Five. Can the Legion's newly appointed leader handle their greatest enemies? We've got Nightwing number 18. Dick Grayson lost so much during the death of the family that some new events are going to push him right over the edge. Nightwing has almost no hope left until the chance for vengeance presents itself. What decisions will he make? We've got Red Hood and the Outlaws number 18. Jason Todd suffered terribly at the hands of the Joker in Death of the Family, and now he's changing the Outlaws' mission. Something is bound to break with all that's happened. Will it be Jason's soul? 
We've got Supergirl number 18. It's a new dawn for the Girl of Steel after the nightmare of hell on Earth. Nothing will be the same for Supergirl as she embarks on a new mission that'll bring her face to face with one of DC's deadliest villains. We've got Sword of Sorcery number 6. Amaya becomes the Lady Regent of House Turquoise and discovers the startling truth behind its power. A mysterious evil originating from Nilak is now on Earth, and John Constantine doesn't like that one bit. And in the backup feature, Stalker must defeat Lucifer to save his scion. And we've got Wonder Woman number 18. We've seen the history Wonder Woman shares with Ares, but what does the God of War have planned for her future? Out in trades from DC, we've got Batman Volume 1, The Court of Owls trade paperback. In this new trade paperback, a series of brutal murders rocks not only Gotham City to its core, but also the Cape Crusader himself when the prime suspect is one of Batman's closest allies, Dick Grayson. Collects Batman number 1 through 7. And we've got Batman Volume 2, The City of Owls hardcover. After a series of deadly discoveries, Bruce Wayne has learned that the Court of Owls is real and a deadly threat out to control Gotham City. Unleashing their deadly assassins known as the Talons, Batman must stop the insidious Court of Owls before they claim the city for their own. In doing so, the Dark Knight will uncover dark secrets, not just about the city he's sworn to protect, but about the history of the Wayne family. Collects Batman number 8 through 12 and Batman Annual number 1. We've got Superman The Death and Return of Superman Omnibus Hardcover. This unforgettable epic is collected in this massive edition, including Superman The Man of Steel number 17 to 26, Superman number 73 to 82, Adventures of Superman 496 to 505, Action Comics 683 to 691, Justice League America number 69, Superman The Legacy of Superman number 1, and Green Lantern number 46. Includes chapters of World Without a Superman, bonus materials, and more. And last, we've got Wonder Woman, the Amazon Princess Archives Volume 1 hardcover. At last, the wild Wonder Woman adventures from the late 1950s are collected in full color in a new archive series, collecting Wonder Woman number 98 to 110. Okay, so that's it for DC this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the Marvel and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.